What up, everyone? And Merry welcome Christmas! To <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> Roll Need, a Winter Vale adventure. The pre-show for our show. Um, I, we changed a bunch of the technology we use for it, so hopefully everything doesn't crash and burn. But our hopefully. first ever one-shot, guys. We're playing completely different classes. Yay. Jared wrote us up a Winter Vale-themed journey, but he actually Is has a begin? full character as well. Yeah. Yeah, well... I do now in the main campaign too. Now that I've actually officially made Klein a character sheet. Yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. I mean, it works out. This is going to be taking place in a different time period. Um, this is actually just taking place in the retail while timeline. I think it's like ten to twenty years ahead. I forget exactly. Something like I think that. It's like twenty year difference between then and classic. Um, but it's not the same time period. Um, so, um, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Um, we'll get into our introductions for our characters in game. Jake is trying to tilt me right now with whoops. <laughs> oh, whoops. I can't even hear that. Whoops. Whoops. Yeah, because you're yeah. the one putting it in. Uh, All <laughs> right, right, right. I had to get snowflakes in there and to purge the, the ugly chat on the screen. For those that are wondering why this isn't on our free MP3, one shots will not be on our free MP3. Um, right. You can find this anywhere else, though, or Twitch VOD, YouTube VOD, um, the premium MP3 for our Patreon subscribers. Um, so yeah, yeah. Check it out. Uh, we're you know playing different classes. We can uh, quickly run through them. I'm just gonna be playing a a uh, gnome death knight. We're all gnomes. Uh, gnome death knight named Tinky Turd Whisper. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll do names and games. We'll do names and games. Okay. All right. All right. Spoiler. We can do alert. classes though. We can do classes. You're a DK. DK. I'm a priest. I'm a lock. I am a mage. And I'm a monk. That's gonna be fun. Gonna give out that Christmas good. candy. We we were looking for a Winter Vale wallpaper to throw on the green screen for these guys, and we found this Varian and Anduin. Oh my! It's actually amazing. Sledding. It's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> and then Remember? old Dan blew him up. Yeah. Oh well. Easy. Spoiler. Too soon. Too soon. Whoever's Easy art there. that is, you're you're very talented. And yeah, I love it. Uh, I googled Warcraft snow background and found that. So if you're curious, uh, I'm sure you can find it. Uh, what are you guys doing for Christmas? Anything special? Probably working. Special. I haven't got my schedule for that week yet, but yeah. probably working. I got I... Christmas Eve Sorry. off. I'm I'm excited. I just found out I have Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off. Right Ooh, on, baller. Best buys closed on Christmas. And Day. as someone who works for a company based out of Germany, I do not always get holiday. Dang. Right on, baller. I wouldn't be. This is the first Christmas I've been in uh, away from my family, so I won't be. I don't mind that I'm working, and I get like extra pay, so it's gonna be yeah, awesome. Yeah. That, that is time and a half. half. Yeah. Well, I, it's like two and a half times for me. Ooh, wow. Working at Apple. Yeah. That's super yeah. insane. They like their employees to get paid well on holidays. Yeah. Oh, that's how it should be. Uh, yeah. Hey, so that's yeah, cool. I milk those hours. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, no, naturally. That's you got <laughs> the yeah. user who posted it to Reddit is named Holy Fries, so that's oh, the, interesting. Uh, that's where the artwork came from. At least okay. that's the post to Reddit. It's so beautiful. Holy Fries. Thank you. Sorry. Continue. Hold my fries. <laughs> that's a subreddit. I think we should just dive straight in for the one shot. Oh, we will in one yeah. second. I, I'm double oh, Jake's checking. Doing stuff. Yeah, I'm hey, just kind of. Hey, Santa, up. how's you doing? Do, do pretty good. It's uh, it's cold here. Oof. I mean, you, you, the Texan is saying it's cold <laughs> yeah. to the three people living up north. Yeah, I don't like the cold though. It's That's only 35 here. Either, it's like. Man. 40, it's, I think, here. No, I it's, think it's crazy it's like that... 35 uh, this morning and raining. North Carolina it's 46 South right now. Yeah, North Carolina got a lot of snow last week, yeah. 10 inches yeah. of snow? He has, like, my, my wow, my wow, ugly sweater. Oh, that's awesome. It's that's pretty. Awesome. I just noticed the Murlocs. Yeah. <laughs> they got candy canes. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah, but... Yeah, should be a fun Christmas for me. Just spending time with the family. My brother's flying home, so I'm looking forward to it. But I'm also looking forward to role playing as yes. a gnome. <laughs> now, I'm, I don't know if I'm actually going to commit to this. I'm going to give, like, show you guys. I, I have a pint glass, right? And if you've ever played a Death Knight in World of Warcraft, they they kind of have like this weird oh. reverb 
on their voice. So I don't know what my gnome voice is. Maybe a little bit like this will be my gnome voice, and then I get my weird gnome voice that sounds kind of like this. Probably really annoying to listen to, so I don't know if I'm going to commit to it. But, yeah, I don't know. Gnome's got to talk fast, right? I mean, no. They don't have give, to. Gnomes give me, can talk however they want to talk. Give me your gnome voice. Let me hear it. Let me hear um, Hello there. My name is Cheer. Yep. Yeah. But okay. he's playing a girl. He's raising his voice in the in the back, kind of like top back here. Well, yeah, but Santa's doing a deep voice. All yeah, right. my voice is over here. Oh. Yeah, you All can right. be whatever you. Uh, we can sound whatever you want. Buddy, are you doing enough voice? This is my voice. Oh wow, that's actually really good. Skeeter. That's good. My my name's Skeeter. Oh, God, he's still Southern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's a Southern gnome. I mean, I could do something like this and be like a really weird gnome, but... I mean, sure. Can you, can you commit to that? Yeah, I could do this for two hours and probably hit my life at the end, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's commit. That sounds good, buddy. You're not casting tomorrow. Let's um, go. Let's go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Um. Cool. Well, let's roll the intro. Roll Need is directly supported by listeners like you. Visit patreon.com slash rollneed. Welcome back to our holiday episode, a Winter Vale adventure. Our adventure begins two nights before the Winter's Vale day. We're taking place in the city of Ironforge in the Tinkertown district as a group of gnomes who, for the last several years, have been working under Father Winter as some of their hardest working elves or gnomes. Whoa. And, uh... Hmm. You guys have been working for the last few years. We begin in the Tinker Town, um, inside your guys' workshop here. Uh, and last year, you guys were the worst. We got last place in the competition. Who, which team can produce the most presents, the most cookies and milk for Father Winter for Christmas Day? And today's the last day to get everything prepared. It's a close race this year. All teams are actually dead even. It's kind of weird how that worked out for the last day. So the results for this competition all seem to revolve around what we're about to do. We don't want to get last place. We take place in the competition. We have our elves. Your leader, the captain of the squad, cheer. Well, guys, today is the last day here. We have to do the best we can. We have presents to wrap. We have cookies to make. And we have milk to to glass. Is everybody ready? How are you feeling, Tinky? I, I'm feeling great, man. Well, I mean, you've I really been wait. slacking the last few days, okay? Oh, you gotta wow. stop eating our cookies. We could be a lot further ahead, but no, you had to eat the whole last batch. Yeah, Tinky. You're the oh, one eating all the cookies. I mean, I like cookies. You guys, are are, you guys don't like me because I'm dead. That well, has nothing not to do with it. It wouldn't matter if you were dead. That's true. I mean, just because I don't have to eat doesn't mean I don't want to eat. Well, the cookies aren't our only problem here, fellas. Last year, Santa blew up half of our present collection with a fireball. You really gotta learn how to control your magic, Santa. Sorry. And buddy, nope. don't let me tell you about the stains I found on the Christmas tree. I don't know what you're talking about. There was charcoal everywhere. 
No proof it was me. <sighs> what am I going to do with you guys? Well, today is the last day, and we've only got a few hours left in our shift. We have presents we have to make, and cookies that we have to have baked. I'm going to split you guys up into two teams. Who wants to do what? I will uh, bake a cookie. I'll, uh, I'll help with the present. I'll bake some cookies. There are presents. All right, so Tinky, Turd Whisper, and Santa, you guys head over to the Christmas tree and begin wrapping the last of the presents. Go. Okay. okay. Buddy the Gnome and Skeeter, start working on that cookie dough. You I'll preheat the oven. <laughs> okay. Let's start with Skeeter and Buddy the Gnome. Oh, boy. I need one of you to make a survival check, please. I'll do that. Okay. That's an 11. Okay. Um, you feel like you really remember how to make cookies just fine. So, uh, I think we got this in the bag, buddy. You got, you, you know what the general ingredients aye, aye. are. Um, what yeah, kind of cookies? We need some flour, we need some butter, we need some eggs. Are we making chocolate chip? That's for you guys to decide. What kind of cookies are you guys to make for your last batch? Chocolate chip sounds great. I really like chocolate chip. It's my favorite. Okay. Mine make an too. investigation check, buddy. Heck yeah. Where do I change my color in roll 20? Uh, 20. Click on the color. Uh, yeah, you find a big batch of chocolate chips. Look what I found. That you can make the chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's gonna Definitely be plenty. bigger than me. Oh uh, yeah, it's a pretty big bag. There's a lot of chocolate chips. Careful. Some of them are spilling out onto the ground. <laughs> Come on, buddy. His bag's so big. I'm gonna put the bag on the table. <laughs> okay. Um, I need one of you to make a dexterity check as you mix the ingredients into the bowl and you sp <laughs> you pour the the cookies out onto the sheet. Roll no, for cookie I craft. I don't think there's a good choice for this. Oh, oh wow, okay. Okay, well, that was a 10. Uh, you get everything mixed together pretty well. There are some chunks of it where there's like a little bit of flour in the dough that hasn't been mixed up too well. Um, and then you get them out onto the sheet. Uh, you've got your cookies. Um, you're making chocolate chips. Um, you haven't put the chocolate chips on just yet. What kind of shapes do you guys plan on uh, making your cookies in? Uh, snowflakes. Yeah, snowflakes. That sounds no impossibly flakes. hard. <laughs> snowflakes? <laughs> okay. Make, uh, buddy, make a uh, dex you check. You got this. Make a dex check, buddy. <laughs> I have not rolled a new plan. Twelve. Okay. They look closer to stars. <laughs> but they're a good attempt at snowflakes. And you get your little chocolate chip cookies all on them. Um, um, Skeeter didn't do the best job of getting them onto the sheep. You made a batch for 12 cookies. Uh, but a couple of them got too close together. So it's more like nine and a half cookies. A couple <laughs> of them are way too big. Uh, but you've got your all um, cut up, and um, you can put them into uh, the uh, oven. I need one of you to make an intelligence check to remember how long it's been in there for. I will do so. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Seven. Uh, you and Skeeter, you know, uh, <laughs> a cheer comes walking over and finds Skeeter and Buddy the Gnome underneath a table just fist deep in this bag of chocolate chip chip cookies just shoveling them into their mouth or the chocolate chips and they're just into their mouth just spilled out all the floor you guys do you not smell that they're starting to burn oh no i thought we had what? plenty of time left no the cookies oh i'll run over to get them out of the oven yeah they're a little bit on the edge a little dark brown they're just Perfect. crispy. <laughs> oh, God. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, set those over there to cool off, and we'll get back to you guys later for the milk. All right. We're going back in time. 
Toriki. We, <laughs> we have pat. We have presents that we have to wrap. Yep. Over here are a bunch of toys. Choose which ones you want to wrap, and get as many wrapped as you can. Okay. Uh, well, okay. Where's the wrapping paper? It's right over there on the table. Oh. Wait, hold okay. on. There was something I was supposed to do on the in-game thing. Second. Cookies added. Cookies! Cookies added! Yay! Are you here? Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Cookies are done! <laughs> <laughs> I spent $5 for that! <laughs> Yay! Just friend of the assets. Yeah, roll 20 Christmas package. Worth. Nice. Worth. Okay. The wallpaper. Wait, what is it called? It's wrapping paper. paper. Wrapping paper over there. Okay, I got it. All right, so there's a bunch of toys anywhere from teddy bears, action figures, um, electronic steam tanks, oh boy. Um, snacks. You have plenty of things to choose from. What are you guys going to wrap first? I'm going to find way, the... any toy you want to think of. You can you can pick from. Them. I want to find the biggest, hardest thing to wrap. Okay, there is uh, there is a three and a half foot tall teddy bear uh pretty big size but it's not just a teddy bear it's a teddy bear wearing stormwind armor and it's wearing the the shield and uh, crest of varian wind friend all right I got, uh, i'm gonna wrap this one i'm gonna wrap this gyrocopter. okay it's pretty big it's taller than you so you gotta oh, i know like drag nope. it over there i i'm i'm gonna use okay you're gonna try a gyrocopter yeah okay no control. it comes no, with the control as well yeah. okay um, I'm gonna go ahead keep... and um, what color paper are you wrapping me? Uh, I'm gonna use blue. Solid green. Okay. Blue and white stripes. All right, um, go I'm, ahead and. I'm gonna use uh, the green paper. Make dex checks, both of you, and the DC nope. is based off how difficult an item it is. I'm casting Mage Hand and doing it with that. <laughs> okay. I think you still gotta make a DC check, right? Yeah, it's a spell check, a spell casting check. But my dex modifier is negative one, so there's no way in hell I'm using these hands. <laughs> uh, it's not yeah. these hands. <laughs> Tinky, would you quit gagging? Uh -oh. oh my god! You no. broke the propeller! What are you doing? Tinky, every year you ruin Winter's Veil! I rolled a two. I rolled a two. Tinky, every time. So let me... uh, and you take a look at the the gyrocopter. It's like it's like rat, but like the blades are sticking through parts, and the rudder on the end is sticking through. And I didn't break it. Clearly snapped. No, you snapped it for sure. Oh. One of the propellers on top is snapped. Can I fix it? Make a tinker check. What what is tinker? Uh, it's dex plus proficiency if you have it, but you're probably not. I think all gnomes in all this gnomes position have, have tinker. So I would just get right. two yeah. plus two. Um, and then for uh, Santa's uh, bear, he got it wrapped for the most part, but like the sword is like really awkwardly showing out over the bear, and you could tell it's a bear. <laughs> you could tell exactly what it is. It's not a very well wrapped gift, but he did an okay job considering the task. I got it all little... covered in the paper. Using your uh, necrotic magic, you mend the wound that you had just broken, and it kind of almost solders itself back into place, and the propellers attach back on. There's a very clear, you look close enough, there's a very clear line where it had snapped, but it's past, but you're not sure if it'll fly. <laughs> no, it's undead. <laughs> oh, man. Well, come on, hurry up. We have more gifts to wrap. Okay. Well, Pick new things. Um, I want to do the steam tank. Hold on. Token lair. <laughs> we got presents. I spent five dollars for this. <laughs> yeah, use it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this moon well. It's like a moon well, inflatable moon well. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, like, like a little, like a little pool. Kitty pool. Kitty pool. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Big dex check. What, what color wrapping paper? Oh. Uh, no. Okay. Do we have any like newspaper? <laughs> make a. <laughs> Make an investigation. The Azeroth check. Times. Yes. Make an investigation check. Or Iron okay. Forge Times. Okay. Oh man. I am super proficient. I'm gonna wrap my. Still Ooh. rolled a nine. Uh, uh, no, you don't find any newspaper. This Ooh. is Santa we're talking about. Come on. Okay, I guess I'll just use the shiny silver wrapping. All right. Can both of you make dex checks, please? I did. Still using Mage Hand. I got the five. Fourteen. Um, as you're wrapping up the tank, wait, what are you? What are you, oh, you're doing the, uh, the inflatable. Yeah. yeah, you're having difficulty because for some reason you thought it was a good idea to inflate it before wrapping it, <laughs> and as you're inside of it, you're really. It's actually because of your size. It's almost like a bounce house, and you're just end up just jumping inside of it for a good five ten minutes before cheer comes over. Tinky. These are for the kids! But... They're bigger than me! Oh, jeez. <laughs> um, what'd you roll, Santa? Fourteen. Yeah, you get it wrapped. It's not a very big object. Um, it's kind of obvious to tell what the controller for the Steam Tonk was. Yeah. Um, but... Um, I got my dad. Do I get any cookies? No, but you get a present added. Tinky doesn't. <laughs> Come on, Tinky, keep up. So, um, All right, you this. guys get one more chance. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up a toy sword and shield. I'm okay. gonna pick up a toy sword and shield if you guys didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got you, dog. <laughs> we got you. Uh, what are you doing, Santa? Um, I'm gonna wrap the tree. She said everything needed to be wrapped! Make a stealth check. <laughs> easy. My god. Oh no, it's not easy. DC You're a mage. You're not a rogue anymore, bro. I know. A mm. nine. Um... <laughs> you get about halfway through wrapping it before cheer comes over. Santa! <laughs> Come on! Hey, you said to wrap everything over here! Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm just gonna no, keep wrapping it! The present, stop! Give a present and uh, wrap that and send. She begins taking off all the wrapping paper. You this isn't a tree. present? No, this is our tree. Santa has to come take the presents from our tree. Or the Father Winter has to come take the presents from our tree and deliver it to the kids. Uh, the tree's not a gift. Okay, that makes more sense. Pick a new one. Uh, I'm gonna grab a toy train set. Okay, and what'd you grab against Tinky? Uh, it was like a toy sword and shield. Uh, did you already do the 14? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, 14. Okay, it's pretty well wrapped. Oh. Um, then to wrap the train set, I rolled a 13. I have not rolled over, I've never rolled a two digit number. All my dice. At least you got a plus six. Yeah. Why do you have a plus six as a mate? Oh, you're doing mage hand. I'm using mage hand. Um, okay, yeah, you both wrap them fairly well. Now you get five dollar presents. Yay! Yay! Presents. We're doing it. Ah, oh, gosh, guys. I don't know if we're going to make the cut this time. I was hoping we'd do better than last year, but you guys have really let me down again. We got one more thing left we can do. We have to make glasses of milk. That's easy. That sounds easy. Each one of you is going to pour a glass of milk. Uh -huh. Where is this milk at? Over here. What kind of milk is it? In this jar. It's just 2% milk. Is it cow milk? Yes. Not ram. I like ram milk, brother. Well, it's not for you. It's for Santa. Father Winter. Father Winter. No, I don't even <laughs> like it. <laughs> it's for Father Winter. Okay. Now I need all of you to make dexterity checks, and whoever pours it the best is the one that makes the glass of milk. 
20. I got an idea. Hang on, Tinky. How about I hold the glass and you pour? Um, I'll test. I don't 20. think it matters. There we go. No, I, just, I want to give him advantage on it. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get you get advantage because he's whole assist. Oh, oh thank, thank God! God. <laughs> thank God! Because it was a two. Now it's a 14. Okay. Um, Tinky pours a pretty solid uh, glass of milk, um, but it gets a little bit too close to the top. It. You know, it, 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 it's a, you have to walk very carefully with it. Um, Skears is a pretty solid glass of milk, uh, but he just can't resist himself, and he takes a sip of it. He loves milk. So I love milk. The point's off because, you know, he contaminated it with his disgusting mouth. Everything um, is a dex check, and we're just getting bodied because we have no dex. <laughs> yeah. I assisted him by holding the glass. With um, Buddy got has the perfect level it's got just that perfect inch and a half of space on the top of the glass um no nat dribble 20. down the side mm. it's oh, clearly so a nat 24. Life. oh nice. way to go buddy we might have a chance in this yeah. year's competition all right um did i show you guys the milking game yet no there it is yeah five dollars <laughs> put those by the cookies all right, you guys. Oh. Now, there's one last thing we can do. Does anyone want to make any last-minute modifications to our presents or our cookies or any of our display? Because remember, we're getting judged by this tonight. Last year, we came in last place. I really oh. want to win this year, guys. Oh, Are you I'm... sure we're not supposed to wrap the tree? I promise you, Santa. <sighs> Amateurs. Okay. Great Father Winter likes his milk to be really cold, and I'm just gonna do this, and I cast Howling Blast on the milk. Okay. He's gonna break the milk, guys. <laughs> no, he freezes the entire area, and it's got a nice, like, frost around it. Um, a little bit spreads over to the cookies. Um, fully engulfs the area in ice. Perfect. Nice and cold. Good job. Are there any, like, small presents, or are they all pretty big, right? Um, I mean, the gyrocopter and the steam tank are both pretty small. Well, I was thinking we could, like, take some presents and put them in the tree. I think that would look nice, have, like, hidden presents inside of the tree. We like, don't want to make high. we don't want to make fun of winner's job harder for him. Why would it be harder for him? Because he has It'd to come get these presents him. from... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Skeeter... He's got to go to, like, hundreds of these trees. We don't want to slow him down. Oh, you're right. Any other ideas, fellas? Uh... Feel free to use magic to spice this up. Maybe... No magic here. Like Tinky did. All right, I'm just going to be, like, smiling. <laughs> All right, I am going to use Unseen Servant to make the m cookies float next to the milk on the table so there's room for or so the cookies aren't getting frozen by the frozen table. Good idea, Santa! Oh, that's like cool. And then I'm just gonna go... I Pah. can just make them hold them right up here. I made snowflakes. And now it's like magical <laughs> snowflakes raining down above it. Death Elves nope. can do that too, right? Or horn, winter horn, or something does. Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's a spell effect. Frost. Yeah, yeah. So, eh. Yeah. Problem. For the sake of Christmas, we're letting it happen. Oh. <laughs> well, if there's nothing else we can do, guys, we can just go to the judging ceremony. Are you guys yeah. ready to present? <laughs> I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it. Okay. Yes. Uh... The day comes to an end, a couple hours pass. Um, eventually, uh, the supervisor comes around and inspects all the presents. Um, eventually, stops by your guys' uh, workstation. There's hundreds of these workstations in Father Winter's uh, factories. Um, the supervisor, another one. All right, you guys. Let's hope you did better than last year, okay? Walks I over hope we to did. To the glass of milk and... <clears throat> Nice and cold. 
Smells like 2% milk. Okay, good job. He writes in his little notebook. Scoots on over to the cookies. Chocolate chip. With a little burnt. Hmm. But it's better that way. Make a charisma check. <laughs> he is not having it. <laughs> From the not, not 20 to the critical fail. Bad. Do you remember last year I was here, buddy? I said no talking. Wait, I changed voices. <laughs> I said <laughs> I said no talking. I forget what voice I was doing now. Just I said no it. talking while the, I was here. Shut up. Okay. Scribbles in his notebook. <laughs> alright, let's take a look at these presents. Well, some of them are wrapped alright, but why did you not finish wrapping the pool? Well, it was too bad. Why did you blow it up? I thought it would be better that way, because it's ready. <sighs> scribble, 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 scribble. Okay, I, think you like I will that. get back to you guys later. He walks away. Oh man, I don't know. It's oh, hard to read gross. that man. No, he seemed pretty upset. But he always seems upset. I think we got this in the bag. Eventually, uh, uh, about 20 minutes pass, um, the entire company gets gathered to the main meeting area. and Well, everybody, I have the results listed. In first place, and begins to list off a bunch of teams from first, and then no, finally, no. after about five to ten minutes, gets to you guys. <laughs> and in last place, Team Cheer. Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Santa hates us. It was it had to have been oh, the cookie. Santa, do you hate us? I mean, I think you guys are pretty cool. The kind of runner hates us. Well, per, oh. per tradition, the team that gets last place has to guard the presents tonight. Oh, tomorrow man. is Christmas. Well, luckily I don't have to sleep ever. <laughs> Definitely. You know, this really stinks. I'm dead. Sure. A lot of us aren't like you. Oh, 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 man. I was really hoping we'd win this year, you guys. I just want to make Father Winter proud of us once. I thought we did really well. I'm going to put my hand on Cho's shoulder and be like, It's okay that you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tinky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I don't think that was a compliment, Cheer. Um, well, the begin everyone's beginning to celebrate as they're all getting the night, uh, the next two nights off. They finish their long night. And you guys get tomorrow night off, you know. Uh, you know, uh, Father Winter's Elves, they work all year round, and, but... The day before Christmas is your only night off the year. They really need to work on the labor laws in Ironforge, but you know. <laughs> they sure do. <laughs> you know, no, it's, it's, a, it's a different time. It's a different time, but um, you guys don't get two nights off because you are the ones that have to guard the present. So eventually everyone clears out, and you're in the middle of Tinkertown. All of the fact, all the rooms around you uh, have been emptied. All of the cookies have been piled onto a table with the milk, just several hundreds of glasses of milk. <laughs> and presents everywhere, um, but you guys are set to guard it. And as the lights get shut off and the night begins to fall, um, you're left in the darkness. With a few lights from Christmas lights here and there that are lighting up the area, but uh, it is now nighttime and you guys are alone with all of the presents. You are here to guard. What is everyone going to do? I'm going to... Are there like multiple piles of presents or just one big pile? There's essentially a massive tree out here that like everything has been moved under. Okay, I'm and like going... a banquet table that's just filled with cookies and milk. I'm going to use light on the tree. Okay. That everything's under, so that it's not dark by the presence. Okay. Okay. Well, the tree area is pretty lit up because it's got lights all over. Christmas it. lights. Okay. And now it's brighter. Okay. Now it's <laughs> okay. Now it's got a spotlight on it. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to start summoning my companion. Okay. Um, which is a uh, gingerbread oh. man. Okay. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Uh, well, and it takes about an hour. Okay. Well, after oh, about right. a, 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 
an hour, uh, you know, uh, you see uh, Buddy the Gnome. He takes out a, uh, a, oddly enough, a piece of dough and slams it on the ground and flattens it out in the shape of a gingerbread man and begins to draw a little... Uh, you know, designs on it with icing, gives it its little gumdrop eyeballs, um, lays it flat on the ground, and begins to cast a spell. And almost as if it was cooking in an oven, the gingerbread man slowly turns from dough into a cooked cookie and eventually solidifies, hops up. Hey, what's up, boss? Uh, we're, we're here to guard these presents, and I need your help. You got it. My name's not Howard, though. What is your name? What Are you your... talking gingerbread? Sebastian. Well, well, Sebastian, we need no. help guarding these presents. You got it, boss. He turns and salutes. A little bit of a crack in one of his arms as the cookie gets too hard. <laughs> Overcooked. <laughs> What's everyone else going to do? Uh, no, I'm, all I'm doing is the light and then I'm trying not keeping to an eye out. I'm just, okay. I'm just looking around with my eyes wide open. Skeeter, make a wisdom saving throw. I don't. I literally don't have to blink. I'm not blinking because I'm paying so close attention to what I'm doing because I'm okay. just, just staring. Just blue glowing eyes, never blinking. That's a ten. Okay. Um. Okay. You really want to drink the milk? I but really want to. You can resist. It's a it's a it's a strong pull, but you can fight it. It's your choice. But... Santa can't resist. I'm going to try and sneakily steal a cookie. Okay, make a stealth check. I don't know how well that went last time. That's a seven. Okay. Um. Yeah. I mean, you can go over to the table and try and make mm -hmm. a sleight hand check. Oh boy, sleight hand. I think that's just as bad. Yep, just that's as bad. Sex also, yeah. Ten. I see you over there, Santa. Whoa, oh, no, what? Those cookies aren't for you. <laughs> Remember what happened uh, last year? Santa what about the milk? Your own mage cookies. Uh, yeah, but they don't have any flavor. <laughs> yeah, they suck too. You can't even taste flavor. That's not bad. <laughs> Skeeter, can I have you make a perception check, please? Certainly. Excuse me, not Skeeter. Tinky. The person that mm. said they were just looking with their eyes not blinking. Oh, <laughs> Unblinkingly that, that, staring. Why, right, you don't know our names? We've been doing this together for years. I'm sorry. You all look alike. <laughs> wow! How do I look alike? Yeah, I think that might be a little self-hated racism there, Cheer. <laughs> uh, you said perception? Yes. I always want to call you Cher every time I look at your name. Cher. <laughs> I mean, it is Cher. You're a little club? bit distracted by the commotion behind you as Santa was trying to get a cookie, and you look over there, and you're like, man, I wish you would have stolen me one. And then you hear a rustle behind you at the <gasps> Christmas tree. What was that? Take a turn of look, and... What was what? A leper gnome with a big red sack has just shoved a bunch of presents into it. Looks at you, and then darts down towards the deep run tram. Don't, don't, don't let him go no. Oh Dang. no, Tinky! You had one job. Well, it's not my job. It's everyone's job. Oh no! Where's he going with our presents? I'm taking off after him. Can I cast Howling Blast at him? Okay. Or is, is he too fast? I'm gonna try. Um. Yeah. Go ahead and try. Okay. Because it's got a 60 foot range, which is pretty far. Because it's right by the tree, so if he's right there. Anyways, um. How does that work? You just. Roll the hit. You just roll a 20 with no. What's the. Oh, the modifier is charisma. The charisma, charisma uh -huh. for a death knight, so. Charisma yeah. plus proficiency modifier. Yes. Right. Uh. So, this is plus, plus four. Two. Oh, that's so fast! I rolled yeah, a six. He darts past six. it, and he makes it down through the pathway to the deep run shan with a uh, a bunch of presents in a bag. Well, we better go get him, guys. Yeah, let's cheers, already cheers, already ch chasing off after him. Let's go. Following, following.
following. Um, I don't know how this works, but can I leave my companion behind to guard the presence? Or does he have to stay with sure. me, I think? I mean... I got this, boss! Alright. I need you to Snap. watch these presents. And then I head off. Okay. Alright, so you guys are gonna go running off after him? <laughs> okay, uh, someone make a survival check, please. Oh, boy. That's also dex, right? No, it's wisdom. I wisdom. can make that if you'd like. Uh, I'm good at that. Uh... Oh, 23! 23. Yeah, there is a trail. It looks like he might have gotten his hands on a couple cookies, because there's some cookie crumbs that are heading down the path towards the tram. They go down the ramp to the right, and they take a sudden turn to the left. It looks like it's down in the base area that goes beneath the train. It smells like chocolate chips this way, guys. We can't let him ruin Christmas. We have yes, to get these back. Let's go. Yep. Storming in. You guys go chasing it down. They're following the path down the uh, the uh, the stairs, and you take a sharp turn to the left and um, down towards the end of this pathway where the end of the docking station of the tram is. There seems to be some almost like a hoarder's nest of Christmas supplies. Um, trees, um, lights, um, and what appears to be an army of snowmen. Oh <gasps> my god. So do we think this is the same one locked up to go? I mean, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're playing different people. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you see down the the tram path is uh, an army of snowmen guarding a stash of presents, candy canes, Christmas supplies. I hate snowmen. They make me think of Northwind. I hate people who ruin Winter's Vale. Yeah, I'm with you yeah. on this one. Let's get to work. Kicks a butt. So what are you just going to do? Go kill those snowmen? They all appear to be moving around. They're like shifting around. Yeah. They all appear to be holding on the snowballs. Do they see us? Do they seem I can't aggressive? Control my character. Um, yeah, you're about like a hundred yards away. They're all looking in your direction, and like the leopard gnome is like screaming at them all. They're not attacking yeah! the leopard gnome, right? What? They're not attacking the leopard gnome. No, 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 no. They're taking orders okay. from them. They're all like armed with snowballs, looking at you guys. You gotta Got assign it. our characters to us. Our tokens. Uh. Ugh, you gotta do your job, DM. Got it. <laughs> How dare you? Well, it should I... be good. What's the plan, guys? Well, I, th I think I have an idea. Let me let me try something real fast. Let me run in there and beat him with my stick. Uh, I'm going to maybe. cast Empower Rune sure. Weapon right now. Okay. Which I am gonna be. It basically it's buffed, so I, I, I'm more likely to hit, but my weapon's also just glowing blue and 20-foot radius, just very bright out. Should have used that to guard the tree. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, <Hindsight. laughs> so anyone can do any buffs right now. There's not going to be like a round of surprise because they all know you're here, but everyone can do a round of buffs before we go into combat. Casting mage armor. And everyone no should have control of their characters now. Um, are you doing any buffs, buddy? <laughs> I am... Not. Okay. Um, Cheer is going to grab onto her necklace and squeeze tightly, and then a shadowy aura is going to burst from it, and Cheer is going to go into shadow form. Whoa. Oh, man. Because I'm a shadow priest. That's why they follow Cheer McFear. Cheer McFear, ready to kill some snowmen. Yeah. yeah. You're very aggressive for a happy little gnome. Let's get some initiative rolls. Uh, I rolled a four. Fifteen here? Fourteen. A five. Interesting. I don't want to go anyway. Okay, let's start. Sorry. Skeeter? Five. Uh, um, Santa? Uh, Fifteen. Um, buddy. A four. Um, I chaired it a nine, and then what did you do? Um, fourteen. 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 Okay, and I'm not going to roll initiative for every snowman. They're all going to go on the same initiative. 
Makes sense. <laughs> um, and they rolled really poorly. Perfect. Just Even above that. buddy. Oh. Hmm. I did not set that song to loop. Sorry. Sure didn't. Okay. Top of the round. We got a bunch of snowmen. Um, all armed with snowballs. And a leper gnome who's just stole a bunch of presents. Some cookies back there and whatnot. Okay. You hit the turn order. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, either way you can go. Oh, I didn't know if the leper gnome was above me. No, 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 okay. you're, no, 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 no. Leper gnome okay. um, is not is, is hiding behind the tree. He's, He's busy. Okay, I am going to step out in front of everyone, just looking down at my hands, and kind of just like twiddling my thumbs together. And then I'm going to look up with fire in my eyes and fire three scorching rays at the three nearest snowmen. Okay. To Go ahead and roll the hit for all three of those. Them. Yeah, it's going to be the three in the front row yep. here. Got it. Let's see. Everyone's got so... control over their guys now, right? Mm -hmm. Making sure yes. I have this on anybody. Sure. A 23 for the first, a nat one for the second, and a 14 for the third. Um, the first two, the first and the third hit. Second okay. Misses. They both take 2d6 fire damage. Uh, first one takes seven points. The third one takes four points. Okay. The first one dies. The second one, the first one melts, just gets hit by it. And just like immediately just begins <laughs> melting from the inside out. The second one, you blow off a part of its left side of its body, but it's still standing. That didn't work as well as I thought it would, guys. Tinky, you're up. I can't get to any of them. They're too far away. <laughs> you but... feel a sudden burst of exhilaration as you really don't want Christmas to be ruined and you've got a little extra movement speed. It's crazy. <laughs> well, it's a snowman. And I'm gonna attack it. So since I have Empower Rune Weapon, I basically add my Charisma modifier to my current weapon. Which means that my rune blade has plus eight to hit, which is nice for, for one minute. Roll for, that. for one minute, boom, ten hits. <laughs> <laughs> they're God. snowmen, all right. Wow. They're, they're snowmen. <laughs> only way you missed with that nat one. Yeah. I mean, he only their, AC, nat their one. AC is nine, so you got to roll really bad to miss them. Yeah. Watch. Well, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. What kind of weapon is Tinky using? It, it's a rune blade. That's okay, let's say four. it's a big rune blade that looks like a candy cane or something Christmas themed. Come over, come over the, what do you mean rune blade? What's a rune so, blade? So yeah, it's a blue, it's a giant candy cane that's blue and white striped and the blue is glowing because it's empowered right now. That's cool. That makes sense. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> you just kind of like smack one of its arms and the twig falls off but it's still standing glaring at you. I'm gonna get you next time. Alright, Cheer is up. Because she's in shadow form, if she hits with Mind Blast, it does automatic max damage, which is 12. So I just gotta hit. That's busted. All you gotta do is hit. What? I'm, I missed, though. No. Yeah, the shadow form is if you're rolling an attack that has two dice, you roll max damage. How does shadow form work? How long does it last? Um. I think I just... It's two dice or less, or just only power. when it's two dice? Two dice or... I think it's just only two dice, is what I read. Okay, so if it's a one die roll, then it's not. Kill Fanagan, please. I'm going to be a Shadow Priest. <laughs> yeah, that's why I wanted to be Shadow. Like, oh, that looks really fun. Um, but I, I missed my spell, so... The mind that slams into the ground a bit behind this um, snowman. Skeeter, you're up. All right, I'm I'm running up. I'm trying to I, got... our, I wrote the Shadow Form stuff down. I've got like a, it's a candy cane too, but it's not like the one that curves just a stick. Okay. Going for a bap on the head. 14. 14 hits. And oh. Seven points of damage. Yeah, you run up and you just take your candy cane and you slam it down through it and it just 
puffs into sm uh, snow and just sloshes down. Every this one is dead. Buddy, you're up. Use my oh, whoa, 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 oh, sorry, whoa. sorry, sorry. Bonus action, spending one of my chi points to dash up to this guy. Okay. And then that's it. Buddy, you're up. So they're not going. Um, that's right. How did I take it? Oh, I deleted. Okay, the one that I made the initiative order is one of the ones I deleted. What was their initiative again? Uh, five. it's five. It was okay. before me. Okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm just gonna roll a bunch of attacks. They're all gonna start throwing snowballs at, yeah. um, two of them are gonna shoot at, um, Tinky. Two are gonna shoot at Cheer. One's gonna shoot at Buddy. Three are gonna shoot at Skeeter. And one's gonna shoot at, uh oh. Um, Santa. Yeah. Um, the ones that went at, uh, Tinky are a 14 and a 9. Nope. And these two snowballs pelt into you, but they just kind of just like <laughs> snowballs. Snow is fun. Um, neither of the ones hit cheer. Um, buddy, you get hit with a 19. Yes, that would hit. You, you would take four points of bludgeoning damage as there was a rock in that snowball. Oh. <laughs> Look at Jake's mouth. <laughs> I looked at our total HP. I'm like, yo, we're so small. Mm -hmm. like yeah, you're level is... four. Yeah, I know. Um, Skeeter, a seven, a seventeen, and a thirteen. The seventeen hits. You take two points of his damage as there's a rock inside that snowball. Ugh. It slams into you. Um, a fourteen for you, Santa. I'm going to use shield as a reaction. Okay. To dissolve the snowball as it's coming at me. Yeah, as it it's about to slam into you, and it almost looks like it hits an invisible barrier. And All right, you're up, buddy. No movement. No, they're snowmen. Okay. They're stationary. <laughs> they're gonna sit there and throw snowballs. Fair enough. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move up. Wrong person. And then I'm going to cast uh, Firebolt. Da -da. On uh, this one over here. As we're okay. carefully slaughtering all of the yeah. stuff. Firebolt, yeah! Firebolt! <laughs> 12. 12 hits. Give me a second, I don't know what it does for damage. I think Fireball's a D8. D D10. D10. Oh, D10, okay. One D10. At level 5, it would have been 2 D10. 8 points of damage. Okay, yeah, the Firebolt slams into this one. I don't know why the music changed. <laughs> it's so what you were talking about. I didn't even notice when you guys were talking about the, the cheerfulness. Yeah, of the cheerfully slaughtering about? snowmen. I don't know how Roll20 did that. Okay. Um, yes, that one died. Which one did you shoot? Uh, this one. Smelts, you're up. Top of the round, um, Santa. All right. I want to try this again, guys. Sorry, I only hit one last time. You hit two, but you only killed one. Hey, you yep. hit two, but you only had one. Why am I you? I'm not stick. Hey, hey guys, I'm back. I'm cheer. <laughs> okay. Well, let's try this again, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, twiddling my thumbs, and then firing three scorching rays. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Is it called Scorching Ray in, the, in, in this rule book? Yes. Hmm. Da, 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 da. First one is an 11, 21, it's and a 10. All right, I'm going for the next three in the row beyond us here. Okay. Uh, so this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, go ahead and roll damage. And that's going to be an 11 points, 7 points, and 4 points. Okay, the first two melt as they're blasted with these Scorching Rays. Third one again, you shoot off its top pad, it goes flying in the back. Uh, but it is still standing. That's a little better. You are up, Tinky Winky. I'm going to kill this one. <laughs> nice, that, that uh, hits. 
slapping. It's, 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 it's not a plus eight, but it's a. Uh, <laughs> oh, it should, yeah, it should be plus two, but it's still seven. Okay. Wait. What? Okay. I yeah, just, it's wait, seven, what? seven damage. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it should be seven it's damage. Be plus Five two, plus not two. Plus eight. Yeah, but you rolled a d20 there. You don't roll d20 for your damage. Oh my god, I'm, I'm oh, full you dingus. Did. You're right, you're right. That's why I'm freaking <laughs> out. I'm like, you're, fuck, you're, you're right. damage, there, there, eight, eight damage. Okay, eight points of damage. You slam your candy cane down onto it, and it just oh, shatters. Oh, into I jump I jump onto it, and I go, oh, and I start making a snow angel on Make its corpse. Make a dex check. Oh no, he's going to fall. <laughs> this is whether or not you're making the snow angel on your face or on your back. Five. As you go to jump on, on to the, the snow, your foot slips out from under it, and you, fr you flatline on your back, just just full sprawled out, and then you just just, just uh, casually go into the snowman. The pain spits to me! <laughs> Calculated. Uh, cheer is up. All right, like you he guys, did it on purpose. I won't screw this one up. You're gonna do the same thing with that one. Hits oh, yeah. this time. To, just That's another mind blast and Yeah, just to finish my turn, I wanted to run. Like, oh sorry, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah just... absolutely. I bet you move closer. Um yeah, Cheer gets the mind blast off this time and slams it into this snowman in the back. He pops into snow and it goes flying everywhere and begins to snow down on you guys for a couple seconds. Ah. You will not ruin Christmas on my watch. Skeeter, you're up. I'm gonna try and Winner's Mail! Yeah. Jab my candy cane into this snowman and thrust it up. That's a okay. 23 to hit. That Ooh. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Five points of damage. Five points of damage. It dies. You, you just thrust it up and just the whole head just goes flying off and goes tumbling right. away. I'm going to use my movement to run up to this one and then bonus action drop kick as an unarmed attack. Okay, go ahead and roll the hit. Eighteen to hit. Eighteen hits. Going to roll damage. There's only a one d four. That's enough. That this one has already been scorched by the yep, scorching yeah, ray yeah, before. Yeah. Before you seeing that melting spot, you'd run up and you drop kick it right there, and it just, just you know it was already taking too much damage. It slushes underneath you. Hmm. Um, the last two snowmen are going to throw both of their snowballs at Tinky. Ooh. Um, a seven and a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you parry both of the snowballs that come at you. I mean, you've been in snowball fights your entire life. You know how to avoid them. Uh, no chance. Buddy, you're up. Um, I'm not going to move. I'm just going to cast a firebolt on this guy over here. Okay. Go ahead and roll the hit. Natural one. Mm. Um, yeah. you, you, you go looking at the, the snowman to cast the spell, but you get distracted as, oh man, look at those cookies. All right behind that snowman, I, you, and you are kind of hungry. Um, and you let the f spell fall as you got distracted by food. <laughs> uh, top of the round, Santa. All righty. So, I am going to move up and... Let's see how far. Oh, okay, so from where I am now, I want to be. Uh, can I? Can we see the leopard gnome behind the tree at all? Uh, I make a perception check. Hang on. If I get closer first, would I have a better chance of finding him? Possibly. I'm gonna move up first. I'm gonna move up as far as I can, all 25 feet, and then I'm gonna try and peer behind the tree there. Make a perception check. See if I can spot him. Uh, da da da. Plus one. Eight. Um, you do not see him right now. <sighs> hmm. Okay. In that case, I am going to use my. Uh, uh, the last place I saw him was behind the tree, though, right? Um. I don't know. Like when we ran in here, we saw him running through the snowman to the tree. Yeah, you made a bunch of orders to a snowman, and then. You guys got into a fight. You weren't okay. paying attention. Mr. You rolled a seven. You don't know he's there, Zach. Uh, I mean, we saw him at the very beginning. I know I can't see him right now, but if I remember seeing him go that way. Sure, he's there. Do, do whatever you're going to do. I'm going to blow the tree up if I can't see him. 
Okay, do whatever you're going to do, because it sounds like you're going to do it either way. Well, I'm going to use my primary action to cast Frost Firebolt on the tree. Okay. To Go try and hit. clear it out of his vi or clear it out of the way and see if he's behind it. Twelve. Yeah, twelve hits a tree. It's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> it is a tree. The Frost Firebolt slams into the tree and it blows up, and did shards of tree dust is going everywhere. Yeah. I was I was really expecting it to be a surprise then, tree boss. Yeah, AC of twenty five. So, after the tree, so uh, his five dollar tree. What I would like to do is use my meta magic points to quicken spell. It's not; it's the same equivalent of quicken spell from a sorcerer, but to allow me to cast a regular spell as a bonus action, so that if I can now see the leprechome, cast hold person on him. I think well, yeah, that since works you blew you up the cast tree, yeah, you can trip. see the leprechome. One of those spells has Frost to be a cantrip, though. You can't cast two of the same spell. Firebolt is it Firebolt's cantrip. Oh, okay, as long I I don't know. I mean, yeah, Firebolt's cantrip. Be firebolted with four forty six. No, they hit the wrong button for that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was no. like, holy moly. Firebolt's <laughs> the same as the other firebolt. It's one d ten. That's a cantrip forty six. <laughs> <laughs> Casual <laughs> all day. It's a nutty cantrip. Uh, then old person is a. DC 14 wisdom save. Uh, he fails. All right, I got the I got the guy. He's not going anywhere. And then it's my turn. Okay. Next up, Tinky. Tinky's continuing to dance and laugh as snowballs are flung at him, flailing through the snow, and he will basically do a running swing with his weapon at this snowman. Go ahead and roll to hit. Well, that's the AC, but you're rolling that one, so. <laughs> As you're running up, you slip and you fall and you bust your, you, you hit your head on the ground. The only thing <laughs> That, he can that, miss is with the nat one. I like that playing in the snow. <laughs> oh, man. Tinky, what are you doing? Why do I have to do everything? I'm gonna run over here. I think he's careless because he has he doesn't really feel pain. <laughs> Sends a mind blast with the one you are running towards. and <laughs> One left, boys. Get him, Skeeter. I'm coming in. Wah! And I swing. With the staff, that's a 24. Hits. Eight points of damage. Eight points of damage kills it. You sing <laughs> your candy cane staff through it and... Psh, ice goes sloshing everywhere. Nice. And bonus action, I'm going to go into a elusive dance. And I start dancing. Make a performance check. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Yep. I guess we don't need the map. I guess we kind of can still use the 16. Map. Uh, it's a pretty good dance. <laughs> he, he pops, he locks, and he drops it. Oh, yeah. Here, what are you doing? Look at all these presents he got away with. And there's this, cookies and milk here, too. This is more than what we originally had. Well, yeah, he was stealing from everyone's gift, not just our team. Uh, well, look at the candy cane. I could really whack someone with it. I, I have a DM question when you get a second. Sure. Um, so I no comprehend language, but it is a ritual. So does, how long does that take? Is that like an hour type of? It's done. One? It's no. It's okay. It's, it's playing a one shot. For it's Christmas. a one shot. Yeah, you we're. Do I, it. I, I have so like many to, more spells uh, than I have. <laughs> I would like to cast uh, comprehend language and talk to okay. this dude. I speak common, you idiot. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, wow, you seem uh, pretty salty about that, sir. You, you, you were screaming something earlier. I didn't, didn't realize. Yeah, you you look so I was terrible. speaking snowman to them. He hissed at us. He was like, <sighs> "Yeah, why were you? Uh, why didn't you just I use your mean... words?" No, I think I'll keep you right here. Why are you stealing all these presents? Because everyone's mean to me. That's not a reason to steal, though. Yes, it is. My entire life, people have bullied me. 
One time, I was crawling into my hole, and someone put a bench in front of it. I was trapped in there for weeks. That's not People really have always nice. been horrible to me, so why wouldn't I be horrible to them? Well, because Father Winner's watching, and he, he's got a list, you know. Who's Father Winner? He's the guy you stole all these presents from. I don't know what that means. You don't know about the spirit of Wintervale? No. Oh. Uh, but are you saying you've never got a present before? Never in my life. All I've been done is treated like poop. I'm gonna go pick up this rat that's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna give him. I'm like, I got you a present, and I'm gonna give him a icicle rat. I'm gonna freeze it in my frozen hand rat? and okay. give him a frozen rat. I love frozen rat. I cook these normally, though. Well, what's this? This will be ice cooked, and I'll magically turn it into a savory popsicle. <laughs> Yum! But I don't really know what to do. Get, will you get let go of me? All right, now I'll release the spell. I'm gonna start eating cookies. Okay. They're pretty good. These are not the burnt ones you guys made. These are good cookies. I'm going for the milk. Okay, yeah. It's it's getting kind of warm, but warm milk's so good. Oh, I'm gonna start conjuring servants to help carry back all these presents. Don't you understand? Well... It's all about being together with anyone. Any family. That family could be a, a cold bunch that traps you behind your gate. It could be a rat. It could be dust. He's saying we leave all the presents here with the with this guy. No, he doesn't keep the presents. No, oh. we Wait, gotta Are you telling back. me that if I'm kind to others, kindness will be returned to me? That's the idea. That's kind of the point. Well, that's great. So we're going to give you this ratsicle present. And then you could be nice to other people in the future. I don't know what any of you guys are talking about. Guards, here he is. Arrest this man. And a bunch of Iron Forge guards come walking over and they put iron they put uh, handcuffs on the leopard gnome and dragon way. Serves you right. This is no place for thieves in Christmas. Hey, he, was, he was learning his lesson. Yeah, now he'll learn his lesson by serving time, like a thief should. That's pick up the mean. presents and get these back, you guys. She no. really is dark. You don't pick up the presents yourself. We already did all the work. I'm okay. a storm off. I'm a storm off. I got the milk. Yeah, uh, I guess I'll help with the presents. I'll pick up the plate of cookies and start yeah, walking with use... it. Myself and unseen servants to carry the presents all back in one go because nobody likes making two trips. Let this be a moral of your story, Tinky Turn Whisper. Don't steal. I don't steal nothing. I'm not saying you stole anything, but he got what he deserved. And now, the prison system will set him straight. If you keep being so rotten around the holidays, you're gonna get what you deserve. <laughs> I walk away. Okay. <laughs> you guys get all the presents back over to the Christmas tree. You guys get some of the cookies and milk back. Most. Well, most of it was consumed. Yeah. And justice was served. The thief was thrown behind bars. And frozen rat was served. <laughs> and that is our Winter's Veil one shot. Yay! Right you guys save Christmas. I wanted the, the leopard gnome to. Learn his lesson. Not get bodied. I know. This I isn't a Disney to... story. Get no <laughs> <laughs> uh, the time. There's, There's a law order. There's all. You don't no just morals. Can't. You don't this steal. This isn't Disney's and just law get and order. Let off as a lesson, please. <laughs> Fair enough. I hope he liked his frozen rat. I saw that rat on the map. I'm like, yo, that's food. Oh, he yeah. didn't get to keep it. <laughs> the rat probably fell to the ground as they put the manacles on him and shattered into tiny little pieces. <laughs> No. No rat for anybody. 
was fun. That was good yeah. Stuff. Was I don't know good. how long that was. I forgot the time. I think it was like an hour and a half. Yeah. On recording, yeah. A little it was over a, little, a little over an hour, honestly. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. It was a one shot. We were planning on it to be pretty, yeah. pretty simple and fun, anyways, for the holidays. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a story, though, before we sign off. I said last. Last episode, I mentioned I wanted to tell a story about an ornament, and oh yeah, this is, oh yeah, uh, this is I actually um, I gotta open it because we we just opened up all the ornaments because we're gonna decorate our Christmas tree, and I kind of set this one aside because I forgot about it completely. It was a, it was a cool experience in Japan. I went up there for a wedding this past spring, and because um, my my wife lived out there living with a Japanese host family, so her host sister was getting married. And we went to a, a spring festival, and it was actually really cold. Like, it was abnormally cold. We didn't bring winter clothes. Nobody expected Stop it. Stop talking while you're unwrapping it. I can't hear a word. Oh. That's so loud. Sorry. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so it was a spring festival, and it was abnormally cold. We went to, um, it, was, it was called Inuyama Dog Mountain is the, tr the English translation, and it's where one of the last remaining castles in Japan is. It's like one of the original wooden castles. It's like, it's fortified in a way that it's like on the water, but it's also got all these high points where they could shoot arrows down at anyone trying to, it, it was cool. You got to walk through the whole thing. Um, and it wasn't that big, but it was just an impressive structure. But it was a huge festival with all kinds of uh, live food and, and, and or not live food, but like, you know, carts and, and there's a big live parade. Food? Yeah, yeah, exactly. A parade <laughs> and, and all these things. Music. And we ate, we ate many things, sausages, beers, you name it, weird things. I couldn't tell you what they were, but this was a, a, a freshwater fish that was local to the region called Ayu, I think, A-Y-U, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And they, they grill it on a stick over a really hot coal fire for so long that you eat the whole fish. I'm talking the tail, all the bones oh, wow. melt. You eat the right. head, the eyes, you eat every, like literally you eat the whole thing. And Japan's it sounds so gross. Dude, like it sounds so weird, but it was yeah, it one of the weird. most extraordinary things I ever ate. They covered in salt. And I, I'll be honest, I didn't eat the head. I gave that to one of the Japanese people. I took, I, I mean, I ate some of the intestines and it was very bitter, but yeah, this is, this is my, 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 I guess my memory. I forgot that you guys see a different one on on Twitch. I'll show the stream first, but yeah, it's just a, you know, a skewered fish ornament, um, huh. which I, I bought at a different, I bought this later because this is like a normal. That's a real fish. No, so it's not. It's a, I mean, no, obviously not, but you know, that was my Christmas memory for this year uh, yeah, upon cool. opening that box and my story. That is really cool. Fun that stuff. That is pretty dope. What are you thankful for, Ryan? This is Christmas, not Thanksgiving. Uh, <laughs> for Smash Ultimate being released. Yeah, That's boy. Yeah. I'm also thankful for you guys. Ah. Yeah, this campaign's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it is. About this yeah. campaign, this was a one shot, but the campaign <laughs> in general, Roll Nate, yeah, was, was it? Fun. Yeah. This this has got me back into D and D, and it's been like past Good. three months where I've literally just consumed nothing but D and D. Yeah, it is yeah, awesome, yeah. man. It is amazing. It's great. Yeah. It's great. I've it's so had fun. a great time. And with work being so busy, this has literally been my getaway, so I really do appreciate it. It must be pretty well, cool yeah. getting to we play with a world you. champion. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that part's pretty neat and all. <laughs> I'm thankful for our patrons. Yeah! yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and guys, the pilgrims. The pilgrims. <laughs> Again. <laughs> the thanks. Pilgrims. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, the pilgrims. <laughs> You went full stick right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's that bad. <laughs> well, happy Winter's Veil, vale, everybody, and happy other holidays, whatever you celebrate. Yep, yep. Uh, we are taking the week of Christmas off, as we mentioned last week, so there will be a one-week lapse in the show, uh, and then we'll be returning soon after. With week 14. For New Year's week Eve. 14, as we push into Westfall in the main campaign. Hope you all well, are Landry. safe this holiday season. And GG's. GG's. <laughs>